In the last video, I showed that if I put a magnet above a superconductor, it kind of just floats there like magic. What I want to do now though is show what happens if I do it the other way around. For this one, I'm using a much bigger superconductor and I'm again cooling it with some liquid nitrogen. By now, it should be good, and I can take it out and drop it onto this little magnet track that I made. It actually stays on the track, and if I push it, it's able to move without falling off. It's also surprisingly strong, and even if I push it decently hard, I can't get it to touch the track. As it warms up though, it eventually loses its ability to superconduct, and it stops floating.